hello stitchers how are you hope you're all really well um so i am jumping on the travel um sewing case bandwagon i've been seeing them all over instagram and i thought you know what i need one of those and i had a little look online for tutorials and couldn't see anything and i know that if i make one my lovely lady friends who come to my stitching workshops will want one too <laughs> so i just thought why not oh sorry sorry i nearly fell off my chair why not make one and uh, show you all how to do it at the same time i'm just having a little slip of my tea as always i can't help myself so let's have a look what we've got so i purchased this off amazon and i know a lot of uh, people are um, buying a particular brand but this one was £5.99 and I thought do you know what for the price of the one I can get two so I've done a, a little navy blue and white cream one which I love and this pink one because pink and navy blue are um, the colours that Moonlight stitches um, they're our sort of corporate colours if you like so anyway I did all, I have ordered a beautiful bright yellow one as well which I'm going to make for my daughter Heather or get her to make for herself depending on what um, how we feel so let's have a look then so I have got this little it's only tiny look so go in your handbag and it's got these compartments in and these pull out and you can arrange them that's a little bit where you can put your earrings in I worry about and then there's this bit so I'm gonna have a look and see if I can take this apart but before I do that I'll show you I've got a few little bits of lace and ribbon that have these are literally just scraps and vintagey stuff that I take off that's probably off a lampshade I don't know where that's from that's off a book a book tie these are a pair of old pajamas but I do love that fabric so I thought yeah because it's got little pinks in and this is just a bit that from my doll's house um, furniture making it's got a little tiny print so i thought i'll have a little play with those fabrics now i am conscious that this desk makes a bit of a clonking noise so i've put my little pad here and uh hopefully i won't clank about too much let's just put you over there out of the way of scissors and things right so i'm literally just going to take this apart I think well, I'll save those and that this is just cardboard by the looks of it I've not done this before so bear with that's got like a double sided tape Ooh, I'm tearing that apart by the looks of it do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut that off. Up there. I'm going to get throw that away. I won't need that. I'll have, I'll never use that. Mm. I wonder if I can take that out and reline it. Looks like it's got. A screwdriver here. Mm, try not to bush, bash it up. Be as gentle as you can. I've wrecked that a bit there but this just looks like it's been glued in. So, I'm not too worried about the lining because I am literally going to reline it 
It's double sided taped in by the look of this. Yep. and keep a bit tidy because I am that messy person I can't do anything without making a huge mess right I'm going to measure this so just bear with me I've got a tape measure down here but I want to make a note of said measurements in my little book so, booby doo, let's get the pen, hope it works. So this here is, what, I don't know in inches, um, half, hmm, what do you call that, two, four, six, seven eighths of an inch seven eighths of an inch that's that way or my tape measures on the edge of the desk sorry 22 millimeters 22 millimeters and in length it is Forty seven point so forty seven point five centimetres. Can't think what that is in. Forty seven point five centimetres. So that's four hundred and seventy five millimetres. Or ba -ba, twenty eight and three quarter inches. 28 and 3 quarter inch so that's that round there I'm going to take that out because I won't need that I definitely won't need that oh my gosh I feel like I'm um, I'll leave that in I'll take that out going for it Ooh, I'm glad you can't see my face because I am pulling all kinds of pieces it's not a lot of glue sticking these down and it's only cardboard I might have to make remake a bit of that well, who knows? I don't know. Oh, <clears throat> don't know. Shall I leave that in and just pull that out? I'm being quite brutal now because I want. I think once I get that out, oh, right. So I'm going to put that to one side because that looks like it's two little pieces of card. Mm, I don't know about that bit. May or may not use that. I'll see how I feel. In fact, it might go in there and I use it for that. Because this is taking off the leather look, I'm going to make my um, 
Oh, it's okay, it'll cover it. I'm just thinking I'll make it a little bit bigger. Sorry, I am talking to myself, I know. This has been hot glue going in under there. just hang on to that but I might use that instead probably all shouting and screaming at me at the moment going oh my gosh crazy but I'm sure the um, I'm sure that the end results will be wonderful she says. I'm trying, I'm trying my best not to wreck this edge, even though I know that I can always cover that over. Right, so that is just glued in. That's just like a little bit of a glue. Yeah, that's glue glue gun. Let's just have a little tidy up of that. I'll measure that in a minute for you all. I'll just try not to stab myself with the screwdriver. Pull the bin closer. Yeah, it's just a bit of a glue gun. Which if you've got a glue gun please please use sparingly if you're putting using it i'm not going to use hot glue i don't like it but that might be your weapon of choice do there I'm hanging on to that for a minute but I feel like I'm going to put some thread uh, some fabric on that or some lace or something okay so that's that I'll put that to one side um this piece is half an inch half inch by um, 10 18 and three quarters why is that smaller it can't be have I measured wrong I did I think it's 18 not 28 10 18 and three quarters it is 18 and three quarters three quarter inch so that'll be the same won't it yeah by 12 mil 13 millimeters so 13 millimeters by the same uh, three um, hang on a minute oh I'm rubbish with inches so yeah three quarters why have I put three eighths three quarters of an inch right I don't know why I'm measuring that I think it's because I'm just in my head I'm thinking oh maybe I'll I might make new but I doubt it Although, who knows? Um, right. So this was like sandwiched 
in in that top bit, wasn't it? Hmm. Right, I'm not going to worry too much about that. That's just literally a piece of cardboard look. for that oh no it's just a little bit of fabric wasn't it it's just a bit of fabric it's okay I thought I was losing my marbles right so let's have a little look so I think I'm getting the I will put another piece of fabric on there. So I'm going to put um, let's use that. Will that go in there like that? Yeah. I'm going to use that as the base. So I'll just cut that off. Get rid of that. That's a bit more. I've got my usual three thousand pairs of scissors out. Then, yeah. Actually, I think I'm going to drop. Will that fit in there as well? Yeah, don't put too too much. Otherwise, I might get it stuck, which I have already. Oh my goodness! and just strengthen that up I'm still going to use that I think that idea because I want to put fabric on that I'm just thinking it through can you tell can you hear my brain ticking right Okay, so I'm going to cover this as the base, but before I do that, I'm just going to grab a bit of card, a little craft card, and draw around because I feel like I might need, I might need it. We will see. So, just 
just give that a bit of a... I'm going to use this for my... And like I say, this is an old pair of pyjamas, which I absolutely love. And then we're going to use that bit. Have I got another bit of that with, that with the bird? Yeah, I don't mind. I'll use that bit, I think. Just move it over. They just wore out, so <laughs> I wore them that often. I think they were through lockdown that I um, wore holes in them. But they were only cheap things from the supermarket, but I just loved the fabric. And because they've been worn and washed and worn and washed and worn and washed, the fabric's so nice and soft. Okay. I will cut that off. But anything that I save, I don't use, I'll save because I'll make some little decorations to go on it. Just wondering how much I can tuck in there. It's like upholstery. Doing a bit of upholstery. Right, let's um, make it a bit smaller around that side, around the sides. So it sits in. I mean, you could fussy cut some of these little um, birds out if you wanted, I suppose, if you were that way inclined. I am not. I might have to do a bit of editing on this video. Uh, okay. Right, so. Glue stick. I'm going in. Put plenty on. As always, I'm probably making this look so much more difficult than it actually should be. But I think that's because I'm actually deconstructing rather than just covering it. I just feel like if I do a bit of a deconstruction it'll look nicer, won't it? Just make sure I've not got any wrinkles in there, which I haven't. I'm just check that we're still recording. We are. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awful if I've got all this way and had to start again? I've got glue on there. Okay. Well, let's have a look. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. That looks really lovely. So I'm going to snip these off to flatten it down because I'm going to glue it in anyway. This is where you might want a bit of hot glue, by the way, if that's your bag. But it's not for me, so I'm just going to use some. I'm not going to use um, Pritt Stick either. Just, oh, hang on. I'm going to use some Yoohoo glue. I think you might call it in the States in America, you might call it E6000 possibly. Something like that. Rid 
of you. That's nice. I'm just cutting off as much sort of thickness as I can so we don't have it all uneven. So I didn't find any <laughs> yoo-hoo, so I thought I'll just use good old Gorilla wood glue in, and I'll just, I use this for all my doll's house stuff, so I know it's, it's great. It's my go-to for absolutely everything, because it works. So that's just ordinary Gorilla wood glue and a little paste in spatula, put plenty on, and not scrimp. So I'm going to say that that might come up a little bit high on that, which it has. So probably, because that was quite a bit thicker, wasn't it? So I'm going to probably take off a little bit, although, do I need to? No, I don't think so. Mm. No, because it makes it like a little lip, doesn't it? I'm talking to myself. Actually, that goes round. And that's its end, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. So we'll keep that as it is. I might trim it down a little bit because I want to put a little bit of fabric in there. I'm going to take that off and cut a bit of fabric and I'm going to use that. Let's just move that out of the way. I'm just going to use that as a little template. Mean. 
You don't have to take this bit out, by the way. I'm just being overly... I think I'm probably being over the top. So I'm going to put some glue in. Here's my thing again. A little scraper. You won't see this, this side. I'm trying not to get glue on everything because that's what I do. I can't, I can't make anything without getting glue over everywhere. edges but I know these ones here you will see oh my goodness me you know what I, see, I always see those lovely videos where people are so perfect and there's no nothing or and I've got it everywhere but I know that they they edit this and I'm not going I don't I do a little bit but I don't, I don't feel like I need to edit everything because I like it in in real time if you like so, okay, let's have a look. You're not going to see that, are you? You aren't going to see that and that. At all. It's going to be hidden. going to be hidden by the um, the liner. I'm just going to pull that down a bit more. What's going on here? Can you see what I'm doing? some glue on there to fix it down Up. 
Right, I have to put some clips on. Just get the glue off my fingers and I'll put some on this side as well. you in place for a little while. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Okay. And then I'll put some on that side as well. Just tilt that down a bit more. Don't want to stay. This, this is where you might want to put use your hot, hot air glue, hot glue gun. I'm just looking for some bulldog clips, but they're over there. Not to worry about that. Just hold it down a minute. Probably this is no one. This this is probably why no one's done a tutorial because <laughs> they're like oh, <laughs> losing the will to live. Or something. Right, I'll we'll push that in. I don't know whether you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to my best to. I don't want to pull it too far. Back because I only want it to sort of, I don't want it to open up the whole way. Right. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to find something to clamp it with and let it dry. And I'll be back for the next stage. Okay, while I'm letting that dry, I thought I'd draw around. I've taken that off and it was only fixed on at the bottom with double-sided tape. So, I'm um, sort of in two minds about that. I still want a little pocket on there, but I might make something just, I'll have a look. I mean, I, like I say, I'm probably going a bit over top. But that that I drew round's not um it's too small, it's too big, so I'm just gonna go around with my craft knife. Please be careful if you're using a craft knife. I can hear Gertrude snoring. Well not snoring, she just breathes in a little sigh. It's quite cute. I need to take that out. Turn this round. this is quite bashed up I'm just going to I can't get it off the mat I'm going to glue that together but I'm going to take I'm going to take these out for now they're like a little um, metal clip thing I'm just going to take them out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cover this and then I'm going to put these back through because I think 
I've seen I might only put a couple or three back in and then put a couple of Suffolk puffs there instead Move that out of the way because I don't need that for the time being. Don't lose them. Don't lose that. Don't lose that. I'm just trying to keep tidy. Don't need that for the minute. Bit of glue on there. I've got myself a wet wipe because I'm covered in glue. typical right okay so I think that's the way up yeah I'd say you could do with this with a little fat quarter easily This has got quite a decent pattern, big-ish pattern, so obviously I'm trying to um, use the pattern rather than the... Because they didn't cost me anything in effect, I will not worry too much about wasting fabric. I won't be wasting any of it because I'll use it for something else. Use these little bits. Like I say, might you might make a couple of Suffolk puffs um, for it. We will see. We will see. Just get rid of that and that. I don't know why. I'm... Well, I do because I don't want a big thick corner bit. Right, Pretty stick again easy to use print stick and plenty of glue stick but this is this is actual print stick plenty on that being back at school again teaching the kids I used to teach DT which is design technology um, so we did um, <coughs> textiles, cooking, metalwork, resistant materials. Let's get rid of you. Um, bit of woodwork, design, technology, uh, designing, CAD cutting, that kind of thing, engineering, all kinds of manner of stuff so it's a good all-rounder right let's have a little look that's got like that little tuck in there let me look at that which way up was it that's the top so yeah I feel like I'm back at the school but without all the screaming children, no. We didn't have children screaming. It wasn't allowed. <laughs> we used to be try and keep them nice and quiet. Let's get rid of these extra bits because I don't want them sticking out. You aren't going to see them because I'm going to cover that over. I mean, if I was being really pedantic, I'd use another piece of paper. Um, card but I'm not you're not going to see it so I won't now then let me have a think about this and do I I'm gonna put my scissors in there I think I'm gonna put two because then let's find a pair of scissors oh. maybe that say so they were them um, or as a little dinky bear. I 
I don't think it'd matter. Where are they? Where's the holes? I'm gonna come in. One pit, one there, one there. There's one there, one there. So I could sort of have that. Yeah. So where's my little knife? Oh, please don't cut yourself if you're using a knife. I am. You could use your um, seam ripper. I mean, this is a super flipping sharp blade I'm using here. Here we are. Just put the blade away. I've looked at these um, these jewelry boxes, jewelry cases, and they're all of a similar thing. All got these same kind of hook things. So I was trying to make that a bit curvier. I don't know why. Oh dear. I get a bit, um, I get a bit so it's, oh, that one doesn't want to go in properly. So I've got to make it perfect and I know it's not going to be because I've just butchered a, a cheap now, a jewellery case. to get that there not the felt bit I mean if I was getting really it could be really fussy that's cute oops scissors so yeah oh, and I think I'll put one over there what would I hang on that don't know, but I'm going to put one in anyway because I feel like I want. And then I'm going to put a sofa puff in there or a couple of buttons. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it's really nice. Yeah. Where are you? I'll do you from that side, I think. Make life a bit easier. Wonder if I can push it there. Should have done that from the beginning. The only thing is, got a little bit of a fray. I'm not worried because I'll put some fabric glue in. Actually, I'll use my Gorilla Glue, not fabric glue at all, just to pop that on. Oh, yeah, that's all right. I like that. So I don't know what I'd hang on that one, but definitely my scissors on there. We'll see. So I'm going to put a load of glue on the back. Spread it out a bit. These are standing up, but they won't be when I'm when I push that down. Okay. Where's my wet wipe? Oh, 
Ooh. Looks nice. Love it already. Wonderful. Like I say, that bit, it just had a double-sided tape around it. I mean, that's awful, so I'm not going to be using that. And will I put some... Will I need elastic? And now I'm thinking about it, thinking, right, I'll think about that, and I'm not sure. So, let's have a look, see if you're dry. You're nearly there, yeah. And did it want... It's starting to come together, isn't it? I'm not going to put that in yet, because I'm going to do these... And I think I'm gonna. Will this be long enough? Let's have a look. Just put you to one side. Put you to one side. Try and get this glue off me. Hmm. Oh dear. That's not good, is it? Hmm. Wonder if I could go and find something else have a little look around which is a shame isn't it actually might just do something with that but I'm gonna probably cover these let's have a quick look again that's just double sided tape by the looks of it do it and pull you in there and you in there and then come up just trying to make a neat that and that and look awful won't it so I think I've got to hem it not well not hem it but bring it in that way and bring it in that way let me just have a quick look what it'll look like on that I know this is my I'm thought process in this because obviously oh yeah that's okay I was, there was, was I completely off camera then? No, I don't think so. My thought process. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. We can do one. I can always cut another piece of card. Let's see how far I do it that. I'm just wondering if you want I don't think you'll need me to give you measurements so we can go in and tuck in so I'm going to do a bit of gluing just for quickness on this just to see if that's going to work. So it's like a bit of a hem and there and one in there. What do we think that's going to come up? Get 
out of the way. Reminds me of making doll's house furniture. And I used glue this wood glue on nearly everything. Because it just was so much it it worked. It didn't um it didn't come apart again. So I'm gonna put you like that. Pull you up. To give you a tour of some of my doll's house furniture that I've made at one stage or another. So I'm going to pull you back down. It's quite sweet, quite good. I'm actually going to tuck you under. I'll just make a bit of a make you a bit more bit neater and a bit smaller so not so bulky. Next one will be easy, won't it? I promise. Let's have some more glue on. I mean I suppose you could stitch this but I don't think I don't really think it uh, warrants that kind of unless you really want to of course. I'm going on guess here. Yes. I don't think you'd have to make it that neat either. If you didn't want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna bore you to death watching me struggle through with those but I'm going to do the other three uh, other two and then I'm going to go and have a little look for something I probably end up using some uh, linen or something but I'll go and have a little look see if I can find something long enough to do those in one swoop rather than um, cutting them up so I'll be back uh, with the next instalment I feel like I'm making a bit of a meal of this, but, you know, <laughs> we will see. So, I won't be long. Okay, so I did my little inserts. I just glued them in. Actually, I was going to put a little clip on just to keep them in at each edge. Have a oh, Anything with these clips is they've got like a little thing to stop them moving around and I don't like it because it sometimes it gives you indentations. Oh. Anyway. Anyway, anywho. Right, I'm let them dry. I'm going to leave them over there to dry. So I went away, found some fabric with a little um, lacy bit on, and I thought I will. Right, let's just pack some scissors away. I don't think I need all that. Okay, here. So I just thought. What I'd do is I'd have the lace on the inside of the and then that right round. So I'm going to glue, get the old faithful out. Seems like I'm putting a lot of glue on, but 
it soaks into this. Where are we? Uh, give myself a bit of... Might have to chop this down, we'll have to see. A bit more to go on this end. I'm just making sure you can see me. So, right, that's got a right side and a wrong side. So I'm going to pop. Keeps pinging up, so just make sure. I'm going to come across there and come down. Will that be too far? Hmm. Let's go a bit further up. Lovely. Just try and pull you out a bit so it's level. Doesn't matter. Like I say, I've just found this bit of linen. -y. It's the old faith off the back of the sofa thing that I found in the charity shop for about. I mean it's quite modern because it's machined, it's overlocked and so I'm not too worried about that at all. I've got Gertrude here everywhere. I'm gonna run a line of glue along that bit. I know it's a bit too long that side, but not to worry, and I'm going to peg it down. Peg it down with some magic clips. It's not perfect. I'm just thinking about things and I was thinking, oh, maybe I should have done my um inserts after I've done this because I'm adding thickness aren't I but you know I don't think it's gonna matter too much. I haven't picked a needle up and stitched anything yet. <laughs> Had all intentions I got thread out, needles out, I thought oh I'll just be right really you know make thorough, make sure it's all stitched down but I don't think I need to. Right. Same again with the other one. Don't know whether or not I need to do. That's going to look lovely on the inside. Okay, next one. Again. Oops. 
sometimes think oh put way too much on but it soaks up so just want to I mean, I'm probably going over overboard here. Where's my bit of... With my covering of things. You could have probably just tucked it in, done the basic, bare minimum. Which would be fine. And I might do another video doing just that, but we'll see. Videoing is, um, to be honest, if I wasn't going to video it, I probably wouldn't even do it. <laughs> and I don't know why I thought I'd do two. Probably because I thought these are so cheap, I'll buy two just in case one goes absolutely wrong. Scissors, snip that off. Ooh, my tummy's rumbling. And um, oh, I've had no, we're right. I don't know. That's just about gonna fit. I'm just gonna put a bit of glue down that edge there if you've got hot glue on and that makes life easier for you please do use that I just don't I think it's it's from being at school and the kids using them because of burns that you used to have were quite because no matter what you try to tell them they would never listen. They always know better, don't they? Oops. Not all of them, of course. And I think it's just that fear of burning yourself. This little um, thing, it was like back in the day when men used to wear hair oil and it used to get on the back of sofas and um, armchairs and things. They used to put those lace coverlets over them so they could wash them. I feel like they're called antimacassars. This is what that, this is and it's, it's a from a long sofa and it's got such a lot of fabric on it and some pretty lace which I can show you in just one moment if I've not packed it, I don't think I've packed it away where did I put it? it's here so I've chopped this right up lots and lots of times and it still keep on going but look at it's got so much fabric so if you're in second hand shops do keep your eye out for things like that. Right, I will let those dry. So I've got my inserts and I've got those dry and I'm going to move that out of the way so I don't glue myself. I'm going to have a little think about this. Where's it gone? I feel like it needs to be in that fabric. Ooh. But I'm wondering if... I'm going to undo that. Let's move you out of the way. I'm going to undo this elastic so I can get a pattern off it. I mean, you might not want to cover this bit at all. You might just want to leave that intact. It might be lovely. It might be your thing. And just put a little bit of lace across the top. Which I do have, I did have, didn't I? There, it'd be cute. But of course, in true Rachel fashion, I've had to absolutely 
dismantle it. You know, that would be nice. Or um, a longer piece of lace, which I've not got anything to hand. But that might be nice. Yeah, it, you know, so you don't have to take these things completely apart. I'm just going to the sort of extreme of it because I just wanted to see how easy it was really to take apart and re restructure. And, and of course, you don't have to do anything at all with it. You can just use it as is. Um, and not not customize it at all. You could put some stickers on it. You could, you know, it's not. It doesn't have to be like this. It's just a just a nice little idea. I think it was this. Oh, I can't think. I have to have a look who I saw first doing them, and then it was popping up everywhere. I can't really remember, I'll be honest. So, I think I'm going to make a pattern. I'll give it a bit more. more. I depend, didn't I? I'll give it a hem, a bit more of a hem because if not I won't be able to glue it down <laughs> because I'm going to glue it down of course so that will be the top and I'll come I'll give it plenty of space I don't think it really ways to do this you can either do a, a finger fold with just one which I may well do I mean they've just stretched that and sewn on sewn it on I don't know whether I can I might have to machine it because I can't I'd have to find a new bit of th new bit of elastic, but then again, let's have a look. So if I put that on there, about there, where's the? There were some little there, weren't they? There were little things. I wonder whether I could make my pocket a bit deeper. I'm going to. I'm going to make my pocket a little bit deeper. over there like that. Shall I put some lace on or ribbon? I think that might be. I am going to Get another piece of elastic maybe. Or oh, shall I just pin that there and that there and stitch it? I think I might be okay doing that. One round the back there. Let's get rid of you. I can't see the point in using another piece if I can help it. So, one over there like that. Oh, uh, will these hold it? 
possibly not. And one. <laughs> when it goes pink in a minute. Right, let's see where I need it. I need it there. I've got that glue stuck to me. Everywhere. Have one of them. And then if I stitch it like that and then Yeah, I'm going to get the sewing machine and stitch along there. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to get the thread out, needle and thread out. First of all, I'm just going to try and get some of this glue off me. Needle and thread. Let's find a nice needle. I think a longer... do that'll do oh my gosh glue right so I'll do a double thread see I knew I'd need a needle and thread eventually oh and I've made a knot in it already quite late on in the evening and I think I start to lose a bit of concentration also I've got picked up a thread that I can't see against everything else there we go oh that's it so I'm going to come in This has got glue on it. So maybe I'll start it there. Right. I'm just going to have a few stitches backwards and forwards here. Just a couple of stop stitches just to, to stop it from moving, really. that's got a knobbing of glue on I hope you can see what I'm doing let's pull some big tacking stitches and hope for the best. And then come back to it if needs be. Because you won't see what I'm doing. probably should have got the sewing machine out it would have been easier in fact I'm probably gonna have to I'll tie but that's okay mm, maybe not I need another hand don't I and if I've got it clamped down with the sewing machine it makes life a little bit easier so I think I'm going to have to go back on the sewing machine 
and then come back to you. Let's have a quick little. I've not done bad really to say. <laughs> to say I ought to have got the sewing machine out. That's just laziness on my part. I'm just going to get a, yeah, wonderful. Right, I've typed that down. I'm going to go get the sewing. I'm just whiz that on the sewing machine. And I'm just going to whiz straight along that line. And I'll be back because it's all a bit wonky and not fun that way, is it? So I'll be back in a moment. Let me just stop recording and I'll be back shortly. Okay. Okay. So that was a two minute job. I don't know why I didn't. Um, do it from the off so it's not very great machining so I'm just going to pin that on there and that on there just make sure they are level have a little look yep hello Gertrude looking at that crease down there that's a bit annoying I might have to put another I don't know you probably won't see it when it's you probably won't see it so I'm going to come with my glue and glue in again I think I'm overthinking it I'm going to wash my hands and now I've got glue again. I'm going to pick those down and hope that um, hope that they don't stick. This is going to be an epic video. I might have to do it in two stages, otherwise a lot of people switching off in the droves. Did I put some under there? Possibly, I did under that one. Don't know whether I did under that one. Let's just have a squirt of glue down there. Doesn't matter because you're not going to see that. And I feel like I might put a little bit of something on there, a couple of buttons or something, not that, some, oh where's my favourite button, there, there. oh is this your time to shine, it might well be, it might well be, <laughs> I've been looking for something, haven't I, to put that on, but look at that one, that's a bit too big. No, not you. But I'll have to get the Mother of Pearl one there again. There's a nice one there. Did I just put that one on? Don't know. Anyway, I am going to leave it at that for tonight. I'm just going to have a quick look at this. 
I'm just going to put you to one side. Oh yeah, I think you're looks a little bit rudimentary for the moment. But I think it'll be fine once we get everything else in. And it's all dried. And that's looking good. Might put a couple of clips in there. I was looking for Oh, they're not fit. I was looking for bulldog clips earlier, but I can't find them. Well, I know where they are. They're in a um, in another work basket, and I just don't want to go down and fetch them. So, yeah, I'm going to let that dry tonight, and then I'm going to come back tomorrow. I might put a bow on. and finish it up okay so I hope you're enjoying it so far and I hope it's not too sort of chaotic well I know it's chaotic but I hope you're sort of getting the idea of what I'm trying to achieve uh, yeah <laughs> so I will be back and um, I'll see you in the next video or if this one's another video whatever um yeah i'll be back see you bye bye happy stitching or happy gluing in this uh, case bye